I would like to welcome all of you to this prayer service on this third week of the Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's pray. O God, author of every mercy and all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and thanksgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our loneliness, that we who are bowed down by your conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. When he was in Jerusalem during the Passover festival, many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus on his part would not entrust himself to them because he knew all people and needed no one to testify about anyone, for he himself knew what was in everyone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I hear this reading, I picture a parish bazaar, but not one done in the church hall, but sheets of plywood sitting on top of pews and people walking along the aisles looking at items to purchase. I see candies and drinks on the altar for sale, along with slices of pie, of course. I picture bales of straw along the steps leading to the sanctuary to provide additional seating. Now, obviously, I have never seen this in a Catholic church. Yet how often have we treated going to Mass, either virtually or in person, less than going to the fair or going shopping? Usually when going shopping, we prepare a list may look at some flyers and decide what stores we are going to and when they may be less busy. If going to the fair, we know when the shows are on and to get good seats, we may need to arrive early. We plan to see the displays or the rides that we are interested in and then see what else is there. In both cases, we start to plan and prepare ourselves before we arrive. People generally get more out of something when they are prepared. So I encourage everyone to make an extra effort this Lent to prepare themselves for Mass. Now what does that mean? 
It may be reading one of the readings, the psalm or gospel, ahead of time, allowing the words to soak in and ponder how it relates to your life right now. Now, we don't need to be Bible scholars to get something out of the Word. Just need to take our time as we go through the reading. Something is likely to speak to you. Not necessarily right away, but as you go through the rest of the week. Another option might be reading part of the Mass and understanding how it relates to the Paschal Mystery, which is the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus that we celebrate. We have heard the words of the Mass every week or at times throughout the week, but have we really listened to what the words are that we are saying or that the priest is saying? A third option could be taking time to work on our relationship with God, as our best friends are people we spend time with. Taking time each day to have a conversation with God, no matter how busy we are, there's time to talk to God. Tell him what you're struggling with today. What has worked out well for you? And remember to thank him for the ones that went well and ask him to help you with the areas that did not. If you were sitting down for a snack with your best friend, would you not have a similar conversation? Make your conversation with God a regular part of your day. Then on the day of the Mass, Arrive early enough to speak to the Holy Spirit prior to the Mass starting. Ask Him to help you experience this Mass in a new way. Allow yourself to be inspired by what you hear. At communion time, remember that we are all members of the body of Christ, being consumed by His love and mercy. As we do this each week, it will no longer be the same old routine. It will be one that stirs a fire inside of us, wanting to share God's love and mercy with everyone we know. As we continue the season of Lent, let us bring our needs and the needs of the world in prayer to God, the Almighty Father. That by prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, the holy people of God will be cleansed of their sins and found worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians and all people of goodwill may listen to the word of God and obey his commandments in their daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will find time each day for God, seek him in the silence of our hearts, and learn to love him more and more. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children will honor and respect their parents, that parents will love and respect their children, and be faithful to each other till death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic leaders will hear the cry of the poor and protect the right of every human being to live and die with dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us join together as we pray the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's pray. Direct, O Lord, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, that in your kindness grant your servants this grace, that abiding in the love of you and their neighbor, they may fulfill the whole of your commands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs>